Stillness and abundance, love and light, health and wholeness. Stillness and abundance, love and light, health and wholeness. Stillness and abundance, love and light, health and wholeness to the cosmic consciousness and soul control, family and soul tribe. I greet everybody in peace. Shalom. Salam. Hotel. In the highest frequency of my innermost being. Feeling good for no reason at all. I hope this moment finds you feeling good for no reason at all. As you enter into this space. I greet you in the magnetic service of love and light. And as we enter a brief moment of silence to integrate our mind with our body and our body with our emotions and our emotions with our energy. Starting over means new beginnings. And if you're not done, you're in your new beginning. And every day is a new beginning, man. I was, um, this is off the top. I was just doing my spiritual bath. I was meditating. And a lot of things was downloaded to me. The ancestors was talking. But um, one of the things that stood out was to me, and it stood out so much that I'm gonna share it, because I think it's important. Especially right now, for those of us on our spiritual journey, within this material existence. It's important to know that every day, every day, is an opportunity to heal a past life in your present life. Every day we wake up is a day to hit, to do some, some, some work somewhere on us. Rather it deal with this reality we present, presently in, or rather we brought it in through the birth canal, through generational traits or what have you, with us. And it deals with some a previous lifetime. Every day is an opportunity to do some past life work. If you if you wake up in the day, be grateful, be thankful. Thank the universe, thank the elements, thank your organs, your body parts for functioning how they're supposed to function, to give you the function that you're supposed to function in to be uh, uh, normal or, oper or operational in society um, with the least problems possible. Uh, it's important to understand that every day is an opportunity to do some past life work, otherwise known as shadow work, otherwise known as self work. And it's important to me because, as I just said, I'm not done. So in, in, that, in that affirmation, in that declaration, it showed me the work that's before me. It's a lot of more work to do. <laughs> if you here, <laughs> if you here, I don't care what you, if you watching me right now, if you listening to these words, I don't care what you got. I don't care what you have. I don't care what you live in. I don't care what you wear. And you shouldn't either. You should be caring about where your where, where where your soul and your spirit is going after this part is over with. So anybody here that's on this on this planet here for anything other than that, 
man, I'm looking for the horns, <laughs> really, you know, because it's a lesson that people who choose to stay stuck has to teach us. And once you learn the lesson, you have we have no business continuing certain cycles or seeing certain cycles continue in our lives. And a lot of times we still see in cycles continue in our lives because we caring about shit that don't got nothing to do with us. We caring about things that don't have nothing to do with us. We caring about people that don't have nothing to do with us. We caring about people who don't even really care about us. So, so that's of importance because it's almost like you you gener you you sending out life where death is being wished upon you in a sense but when you look at it from the sense that I'm looking at it it's very detrimental because the highest realm of all existence is spiritual is spiritual existence spiritual awareness cosmic consciousness whatever you want to call it third eye open however you see it what however it resonates with you but if it resonates with you, be aware. Be aware of where you at on your journey. So you're able to accept where everyone else at on theirs with least problems as possible. Because we're not here to judge. We're not here to point finger. We're not here to say who wrong and how they pass showing them they need to do things. And it's not their they obligation or responsibility to say that we're wrong and how we choose to operate according to what our path is showing us. It's okay. That's why we individuals, and that's why we're unique as individuals in all the beautiful different ways that God expresses himself through each and every one of us. Not just humans, <laughs> plants, uh, uh, nature, pets, all kind of form of life. You know, that show us this shit bigger than us, man. We gotta stop thinking it's all about us, man. And really, and really like, you know, smell the coffee, <laughs> so to speak, to how, big, how, how how vast the universe is and all its life forms and how one contributes to the other, even in devastation. Um, so I said that to say, everything that occurred don't affect me. Should it? <laughs> That's the question. And says who? Says who? Everything that occurs shouldn't affect you. That's my point. Know, know what we're claiming with our emotional energy. Know what you're investing into. Know what you're interesting yourself into. Uh, just because you steal some shoes don't mean that you're able to just because you're able to steal some shoes and fit them don't mean that you're able to fill them just because you steal a pair of shoes and your feet is able to go inside them does not mean that you would be able to fill the shoes from up what, where you stole them from. I don't know who that's speaking to. But life has no losses. <laughs> life has no losses, only lessons. And a lot of times, well, all the time, <laughs> We won't pass the next grade until we repeat the lessons that has to be learned. And the school system shows us that. <laughs> you will not get promoted. You will not be commenced until you pass the lessons necessary that says you show and prove yourself to be worthy of being promoted or commenced to the next level. And 
I think that's a beautiful thing in how the material realm mimics the spiritual realm for those of us who truly understand it. And even more so for those who overstand it through our understanding and are able to bring others understanding to further comprehension. I'm just telling, I'm just saying what they tell me to say. But life has no losses, only lessons. And being able to say that with all the things that I have, I have endured personally, rather in pain or joy, I'm able to say thank you to all those past, all those present, all of you present, and thank you to those that come in my future through this present that I am presently creating in the presence. If you, re if you resonated with that, furthermore, if you caught that to resonate with it, give yourself a round of applause. If your shoe's real, you don't have to fake kick it. And that's why it's important to not try to fill nobody's shoes that you're not worthy of putting your foot in in the first place. Because then it, 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 it prompts us to have to try to portray to be something that we're not. And those of us who have clear sight, clarity, and the seals, we see through this even though we may put up with it. But at some point in time, you have to bring out your scissors and give whatever trimming that needs to be cut off that's no longer necessary to your growth. If your shoe's real, you don't have to you don't have to fake kick it. I'm here to affect everything around me. Now, people with who's not in touch with themselves. That statement may be, may feel offensive, or it may feel like a ball of fire, you know, slapping. But I am here to to affect everything around me. Why is that important to me? Life has made it obvious. Your life, more so, my life has made it obvious to me in a way that has never been before. And if you've been doing the work necessary for your soul's evolution of spiritual graduation, then you understand clearly what I'm saying. And you probably feel the same way I feel. And if you do, give yourself a round of applause. Because you here to affect everything around you. We leave imprints. We leave impressions. Upon everybody that we come into contact with. We leave impressions and we leave imprints. Upon every everything and everyone we have conversations with and vice versa everything that i'm saying works two ways because even if you're going down a one-way street you can still get out and walk the other way for those who are walking with me we leave imprints everywhere we go through everything we do through everything we say and through everything we feel one of the highest gifts of spiritual advancement is telepathy. And knowing that it makes one be more present in, in the awareness that we're operating in because we leave imprints everywhere we go 
through everything we say. And most times, we don't have no idea that this is even going on. More so, we don't have no I, 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 we have no idea of how people are leaving imprints on us, especially if your aura weak. You got if your aura got tears and rents in it. If you in a, if you in an emotionally place of garbage and baggage and toxicity, <laughs> then you're just a magnet for other energies just like you. That's why I say things like feel good for no reason at all. It's not an act. <laughs> it's not an act. You are here to affect everything around you. But more so, how are you affecting yourself? How are you affecting yourself? We do so much, man, listen. Human beings, honest human beings, no human beings. So we do so much self-inflicting damage <laughs> according to how we be thinking, according to what's going on, according to who we think at fault or to blame. And most times, never according to the part that we play in. And that's a very scary place to be if you think about it. No shield systems are up. <laughs> and like I say, what we what we emanate in our vibration, meaning what we're sending out we attract more of, whether we recognize it or not. But then we have no business not being able to recognize it when, when everybody woke, when everybody's repeating, regurgitating things like we create our own reality. But then, you know, if you question those who saying things like this, they probably can't tell you how we create our own reality. But then I sit here and do videos, you know, giving glimpses, giving hints, giving clues, you know, because I can't do the work for you, but I can promote, I can promote, I can, pro, I can promote, I can promote thought as well as provoke thought through creative ways of saying things based on day-to-day -day real life experiences that we all have, the uncomfortable shit that we go through. <laughs> that we all have that's that's you know most of us don't like to talk about but but it'd be a breath of fresh air when we feel somebody you know free enough healed enough whole enough to talk about it in a way that i'd be led to talk about some things in the way that only i could talk about them and you know um we all here to do a work we all are here to go through a healing, and we all here to be some kind of healer, some kind of light for us, some, some, some kind of lighthouse to somebody, somewhere. Um, and it won't always take the same shape and form of people who inspirate us, people who motivate us, and inspire us, um, people who be the bridge. It won't always take shape and form. It, it'll take shape and form in the way that it's designed to take shape and form for you, based on what you're here to do. This is important. It's important, it's so important right now to be aligned from inside and out with oneself. Nothing is personal. Nothing is personal. This is really important. Nothing is personal. And I'm, I'm saying it's more to me, to me, than, I'm, than I am sharing it with y'all. 
I have to always remember nothing is personal. I'm a cancer, so I take everything personal. <laughs> Y'all see how my mouth just balls up just saying it? <laughs> I take everything personal. So I work just as hard to be open-minded and compassionate. Um, because of that, if nothing is personal, why do we reject the people that sincerely, sincerely love us and care for us if nothing is personal? Because the more I exercise that nothing is personal concept and ideation, It enhances my growth, my, my, my emotional maturity, I'll say. It enhances my emotional maturity and how I deal with things, and how I deal with situations, how I handle situations, and how I handle people in the situations that I occur. Way more better today than I used to in my yesterdays. Why do we reject the people that care about us enough to want to put time in our life and we'll run behind people who don't give a fuck about us because it ain't no it wasn't no other way that they told me to say that and i might get censored for cursing i don't know there's so much stuff going on with youtube and all these social media that's talking you know i'm only on one right now it's still it's the only portal that i that i come through right now presently you know to do what the universe and the ancestors will have me do you know in this third dimensional realm but in my observation of myself, in my relationship with others, in my interaction with family, biological family, and extended family, people that come into our lives and, and become like family, I, I, I observe that people run away from love, especially genuine love, because of what it shows us about ourselves, because of what it forces us to look at in ourselves in a way that we would have never have, have looked at had somebody come into our lives or, or was already present in our lives to slip behind that veil <laughs> of security that we as human beings <laughs> always move, you know, most of us move behind, you know, in the in, in in the face of the world um love has a way of showing us things that we would have never we, we never see when we in lower vibrational fields nobody wants to look at themselves until they really ready to look at themselves further and foremost that's a valuable lesson to 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 accept no matter how much you care about people no one is is ready to look at themselves until they're ready to look at themselves. But that don't mean you allow them to cause you damage until they get to that point. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but in all you do, choose you. And who resonate with you will, will find you. Feel good for no reason at all. I love y'all. Sabu to God. Peace, family.